changing the baby's nappy. No, no, you are not. That's the biggest <laughs> I've ever heard. Start that again. <laughs> Hello <laughs> and welcome to Ramsey and Ten. I hope you have a great weekend. Uh, happy bank holiday weekend. Uh, what an amazing day it's been out there. Um, first of all, I just want to say uh, thank you to all of you in your thousands tuning in and coming up with these incredible recipes. Um, I've got the magnificent three back with me today for 10 minutes only to get this amazing video done. Um, let me introduce you to the crew first. Uh, the DOP, Director of Photography, there she is. Hello. <laughs> is that, is you that always it? do this, what do you want me to say? How are you doing? How are you doing? <laughs> How's your weekend? <laughs> How's your weekend? Repeat after me, I've had the easiest A-levels in the history of school. Repeat. <laughs> I have not, I still have to do the work, just not the exam. But you, you've got your A-level on your marks. I haven't got my A-level yet. You've got something that I haven't got. Um, talent? Oh, <laughs> hello, level. <laughs> How about Maggie's back? You good, Megs? I'm good. How are you? Uh, very well, indeed. Thank you. Give me more, Megs. How are you? How's your day? We'll be here for breakfast. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> Megs. Whoa! 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 Me. Whoa! Sorry. Honestly, what's that sign behind your back? What is it? Jason DeRue? <laughs> <laughs> back, totally now. And then we have. Oh no. oh no! Oh my goodness me! Holly, what is that? This is truffles! Truffles. Um, holes. Like we need a dog. That's our seventh He's dog. mine, not yours. Dog number seven. So we have seven dogs. We have three cats. Dad, you've lost your DAP. So, wait, hold on. Which dog? Tilly! Tilly! Yeah? Wait. No. <laughs> <Let's>... Honestly, seven dogs, three cats, four parrots, five goldfish. Um, right. In fact, they were called Jaws 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 5. Unfortunately, we lost two because I was starving for some right. sashimi two I'm weeks ago. Where, where's my sous chef? Where is he? Where is he? Where is... There he is! He's shopping! He's sh oh, no! He's huh? got, he, needs, he needs a haircut. He needs a haircut. Uh, that's not too bad, though, is it? It's got the old sort of... The lockdown it, locks. The lockdown locks. It was pretty cool. Right, seriously, I mean, I this house is... Too much. Didn't. I didn't. <laughs> He's a babysitter. Two, two meter distance with that shopping trolley. Right. <laughs> I'm going to bed. Uh, excuse me. He's going to bed. What do you Say mean? Say good night. It's, it's daytime. Truffles. Don't you dare poop on the carpet, man. No. no. But, uh, but just very quickly, why did you call him truffles? Because I like truffles, and his skin color is rare. Gotcha. Is that chocolate truffles or Albert truffles? White truffles. White truffles. Okay. Right, okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. DLP, DLP. Hand down, hand down. Right. right. Um, the rule is you're not allowed to tell me what to do with the camera. You stick to the cooking. Okay, but if I say pan down, it means pan down. Please? I, I, oh. If I say pan down, it means pan down because right. you're missing the shot. Right, first of all, come on. Seriously. Congratulations, Sir Tom. I mean, how cool is that? I mean, honestly, next week, no doubt, he'll be auditioning for the new Bond movie. Incredible. What an amazing legend, raised over 40 million pounds just by starting to walk in the back garden. That is an inspiration for everybody. The NHS, uh, incredible. I mean, what an amazing job again. So thank you to all of you. Happy Bank Holiday weekend. Happy Memorial weekend in the US. And a big thank you to all of everyone across that country that sort of put their lives forward to get everybody safe. So what an amazing weekend. So, Ready? 10 minutes, sausage and mash, Set the timer. First of all, turn your pans on. Get the gas on. Pans on. Also, boil the kettle. Okay? If you boil the kettle, let the water boil in quickly so when you cook the potatoes, it's done. Start the clock, please. Three, two, one. Excellent. Now, salt into the water. Okay? Get that kettle boiling. Top it up with boiling water so you don't lose that boil. And obviously, when you're up against it, pan down, please. Oh, right. I'm going to end this unless you stop. Get those potatoes in, okay? And make sure that water boiling. Now, I've cut them super small, okay? Why have I cut them super small? Pan up, please. It's me now. <laughs> Depending how much time you've got, take them down to the small dice. Small dice, they'll cook literally in four or five minutes. Large dice, seven or eight minutes. But don't cut them too big. Nicely salted water. And don't fill the pan up. Just cover the potatoes with water. Next, sausages. I've got amazing pork sausage here, okay? Now, a little touch of oil. Okay, I'm going to start them off with a little touch of olive oil, just a little touch, okay? That's hard. <laughs> no, it's not. It's, not. it's the pan that's making it. Start it in sort of semi-lukewarm, okay, and bring up the temperature. 
Now, what are you laughing at, ladies? Just nothing. And then take a little cocktail stick, okay, and just sort of lightly tap them. Why are you laughing, ladies? Oh, I don't know. Now I'm just saying prick the sausage, okay, and that stops the skin from bursting, okay? Now, roll them around. Aromats. I'm talking about flavour. Get some garlic, okay, from there. Just crush the garlic, put that in there. Now, the secret here is to get a really nice colour on those sausages. I've got some garlic and some rosemary. Now look, okay, roll them around. Once you've got the colour on those sausages, okay, from there, look, turn them around. Let the pan do the work, turn them around. I want these sausages nice and fragrant. Pan down, please, pan down. I was Next, down. get your pan on. Back up the gas. As it starts to get colour on there, we're going to put a bit of flush in there. Next, your onion. For the onion gravy, I'm going to use red onion. Why? It's so much more sweeter, less acidic than the white onion, and it gets really nice and dark in terms of the caramelisation. Slice the onion nice and fine. Now, tiny drizzle of olive oil in there. Take your onions and open them up into the pan. Sort of, there you go. Look. Now, flatten them out nicely. Okay? Time, please? Two minutes. Two minutes. Thank you. You girls, you're all right today. Yeah, we are. A quick pan down on some of the ingredients, please. Look at this. I've got some smoked salt here, okay? Some Dijon mustard, vinegar, Liam Perrin, little touch of stock in there, okay? Look how quick my water's boiling already. Once the water starts boiling, come up and take a little bit out. Okay, and that way they'll cook even faster. Now, back to the sausages. Look at the colour on those sausages. Now, we go in with some butter. That's got a really nice flavour, okay, on those sausages. Oh, you're burning your onions. No, they're not, that's caramelised. Please don't start that again, please, that's not fair. <laughs> right, look, pan down please. I'm basting with the garlic and the rosemary. And that butter is going to turn the sausage really nice and frothy. Okay, now, look. If it splits, turn it around, it doesn't matter, okay? <laughs> and look, what are you laughing at? Nothing. Caramelised, caramelised. Touch more butter in there, okay? And then, from there, we're going to go into the oven. Now, time please. We have done three minutes, 40 seconds. Sausages in the oven, literally about sort of 160. Right, pan down please, look. Look at these onions. First of all, flatten them in the pan like that. Okay, now watch very carefully. This is really important. Take a little teaspoon, okay, of sugar and just caramelize with the sugar in there. Put a little touch of salt over there. Okay, just a touch, okay. From there, a little bit of butter. And what's gonna happen now with these onions? They get really nice and sweet and caramelised. But, watch what happens when that sugar starts to caramelise. It's a sweet red onion, so it's incredible flavour. They cook instantly, and they're nowhere near as acidic, okay, as the white onion. Now, I much prefer using red onion than I do with shallots because the flavour is incredible. Now, this is where the magic starts to happen. Gas is on full. Balsamic vinegar, pan down please. And Balsamic vinegar, just over. Now look at the colour of the onions. That intensifies the caramelisation, gives a little bit of acidity, but in a really nice sweet way. Now look at those onions. Pan down please, pan down. Pan down. Good. Now, this is where the magic comes in. Look, Liam a little bit of Worcester sauce. Okay, again, just glaze over those onions. Now what happens here, it gives the onions a very dark note, and it almost gives a sort of really nice, sort of sour, sort of rich flavour. Pan down please, pan down, pan down. Now Five look. minutes gone. Yeah, halfway basically. Thank you for the encouragement. Now look, from there, keep those onions flat in the pan like that. They'll caramelise 10 times quicker, but more importantly, the sugar, the lean pairing and the vinegar is making this wonderful caramel. Okay? Now, look at the potatoes. They've only been on for three minutes. Pan down please, come on. I, pan down. To pan down on. Take that in, take a little square out, put it between your fingers and push it. And look. It's still a little bit firm in there, so it's about one minute away. Now, once you reduce the vinegar, reduce the lean curry, but just come into the pan again. Tilly, come into the pan. I can see it from up here. 
They need to see it. I guess they need to see it. They look. can see it. Look at the colour of that though. Look. Is that beautiful? Hello, I'm talking to you, Tilly. Sorry, yes, it's beautiful. Thank you. Right. All you want is compliments. From there. A little touch of stock. You can use veg stock, chicken stock, beef stock. Don't flood the pan. Just about four tablespoons of stock. Let that reduce down. Now, bring that up to the boil. Check the potatoes again. Again, I cut them into dice. And look, that's soft all the way through. Now here's the secret. Colander, off. Now, drain them. Put your pan back on there. I'm not using butter in my mash. I'm gonna use olive oil, okay? Give them a really good shake, okay? Dry out the pan. Please follow me on this one, because it's I'm really important. Here. Okay, back in there. You'll say, why are you doing that? Why? Why are you doing that? Thank you, because it's making them fluffy, okay? It's really important. That's a new rose potato, isn't it? No, it's not. Listen. Okay, you, I'm just saying what you taught me. I know, no, but I mean, how many times I've made mashed potatoes for you? Lots of times, right? Dad, everyone say I'm doing a good job on the camera, Sue. Okay. You need to stop telling me what to do. Okay, look, look in now, look in, please. Oh. So, masher, okay, no ricer, and in. On the heat, okay? Now, what happens now is the potatoes are getting really nice and fluffy. Pan down, please, pan down. Pan down. And then look. If you do this hot, we'll get them super fine. You get back off the heat. Now look, this is where they go up to another level. Look how fluffy they are. Look, look how fluffy that is. Down, 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 down. Back onto the heat, okay? Really important now, a little glug of olive oil. And I want you to beat that in there now, okay? And look, look what's happening. Come back down, please. You've got, to, you've got to come back down. So no butter, just olive oil in there. And... Eight minutes. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe two minutes left. Wait, wait, wait. Look. Now just look how rich. Just look. Look. Look at that. Beautiful. But I'm not done. Down with the gas. Some smoked salt in there. Just a touch. A little bit of mustard in there. Okay. Yeah, just a touch. And then from there... Take the fresh chives, that's going to give you a really nice lift and make this mashed potato so delicious. Yeah. It absolutely lifts it. Go on. A minute and a half left. 90 seconds, thanks for the encouragement. Right, look, look, soon. look. Well, I'm looking. Look. I'm looking. Now, Tilly. Yes. I've made mashed potatoes for you yeah. hundreds of times. Just look at that smoothness. And look, okay. look, that is beautiful. Come on, pan in, pan in. I'm, pan oh. into my mash. Okay, oh, off with the gas. Now, just taste, taste that. Okay, take your time and tell what you think. Take um, your time. I am taking my time. Don't rush it. <coughs> See, Dad? Yes. That's good, but white heat, page 66, Mark Apira White. The Naked Chef, page 21, Jamie Oliver. Delia Smith, Learn to Cook, page 80. Now, all those books have one thing in common. And those page numbers, the best, the best mashed potato recipes out there. Dad, you only got 30 seconds left. Where have you gone? Really? I mean, seriously? I'm telling you, go look at those recipes and you will not regret it. That's unfair. Favourite just, mash ever, Dad. What you just did there. All three of you. Hand back down to the onions, please. I've got a small knob of butter in there. Sausages, check out. Look. Dad, 10 seconds to go. Okay, okay, okay. But, watch. I'm watching. Try and get a nice, beautiful curve of mash. That mustard is so fragrant. Dad, I hate to say this, but... Um, wait, 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 wait. It's been 10 minutes. Look. You're over. Wait, wait. Look at that. Look at that. Come on. Come on, please. I mean... Sausages. I'll give you a bit of extra Look. time. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Mommy didn't make it in 10 minutes. On. On. Now. I can't believe what you just said on those stats. Sorry. Now, I said from there, look, a little knob of butter in those caramelized onions, and then you just generously, look, you sit those onions <laughs> on top. I'm a tilt yes. You may give me Delia Smith and EW and JO, but that. I've just got a question. Yes. I don't know, I'll start singing that too. <laughs> Look, come on. That is a sausage mash. Done. 
in 10 minutes and 57 seconds. Have a great weekend. Continue show me all your bangers and mash. God bless. I'm going to kill Tilly.